person to be good, he must have morals. There's something about the liveness of theater that makes it still around. I, people still go to the theater to experience that. I am seeing a real person on stage doing this right now. There's nothing quite as electric as a good live performance. So Trapdoor is the story of Ambrose Small. It's a piece written by uh, Morris Panitch and then Annika and Britta Johnson, who are sisters. They're the composers. So it's written about a time in Toronto's history, 1919, um, when Ambrose Small was a great big theatre empresario. He owned several theatres. He was involved in theatre productions you know, across the province and um, he disappeared. And that's the exciting part about this story, is it's kind of a murder mystery um, that's set in a theater about theater people. And it also talks about the disappearances of women at the time, um, which are often, you know, unnamed, cast aside, we forget about them um, because of the way history is. And so this is an exploration of the whole world stops when a man goes missing and what happens to all of the women who have gone missing before him. There's the story of Teddy and she, uh, a young girl named Teddy who comes to Toronto looking for her sister because she went missing because her sister went to Toronto. And her sister started working for a man named Ambrose Small who she starts finding out more about him and who he is. So we start viewing his uh, story through her lens and through a more like fem female perspective of this man. And Trapdoor definitely has that um, socially relevant importance and weight to it. So it's really exciting to be part of something like that. Um, we're the only school in the world with our name on a Broadway show. Um, you know, we have a Tony Award, so it's pretty, pretty incredible. And um, important to create Canadian content that is socially relevant and matters in the landscape of theatre as well as, you know, socio-politically. So Come From Away was a show that we developed in the Canadian Music Theatre Project. Uh, it was the brainchild of Michael Rubinoff, who's our associate dean. Nobody knew what was gonna happen with Come From Away. We, we knew it was good, we knew it was exciting, but we didn't know how it would take off. Sheridan is, has become a destination for you know, the development of new works um, internationally, and people know that. To me, it almost feels like the culmination of, of, of everything I've done and wanted to do so far. It's like all the skills that we've learned have just swirled into this one moment. You play a different part this time. A lot of people have different ways of getting ready to go on stage. I think it's, I think there's almost a spectrum. There's the person who's always joking around and is like, and is still themselves. And then as, as soon as their foot exits the wing, they're in character. And then there's other people who like, they have to close the door and be in the dark by themselves and talking to themselves. And I think there is an expectation now that this kind of quality can come out of this program um, and from the people that we bring in. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I would call it a pressure. I think there's an excitement and an anticipation. To be developing a new musical is pretty profound, you know, and it's, it's an opportunity that not many people get to do in their time um, in theatre school. That's sort of the big commodity, I think, that we've helped develop in the students is they have a sense of purpose, they have a sense of autonomy that they need to know um, what's going on in the script and bring something of themselves to the work. Um, and I think what's, what's interesting for us right now is we have students that are graduating from our program now that are going out and getting leading roles. And students graduated, you know, that graduated from our program 15 years before are understudying those people that just graduated from our program. Your class, your class of 40 to 50 people, we support each other in the best ways we can. Um, even. Even when we're all drowning, we all feel like we're trapped in darkness. I think it's better to be together in the dark as opposed to by yourself. We're preparing these students um, in a really profound way to take over the industry, to be leaders, to, to know what it means to actually develop something from scratch. It doesn't scare them. They're excited. They get an idea and they go after it. Just to be 
part of something so um, new and important in so many different levels um, with these people and just our cast is so great and it's it's been a pleasure on every level. Even if I'm just watching it from the audience, I'll always know part of what went into this, or at least this stage of what it went into this. I will always have pride uh, and, and humility that I got to be a part of something as wonderful as this. Yes.